Hey y'all, hey. Do you all ever just sit and think and get caught up in your thoughts? <laughs> well, I really want to work through getting this video done without stopping and without having to edit, even if I mess up, all right? And I'm giving myself a certain time limit no longer than three minutes so anyway what i wanted to and let me do this right here oh look at that and then you got it three in the nose but i just really wanted to say i want to change that piece right here <laughs> i want to be mindful of all hand signals that i put up come baby you got to be so careful these days because i do not want to be labeled as i don't want to be labeled that's all i'm gonna say you know um i know who i am on assignment for and that is God. I tell people all the time, God's princess is not just my radio name. That's what my daddy calls me. And I've been having time with daddy on tonight and just, you know, thinking about this whole process that I'm in as it relates to me resigning from being an educator. Because that's one something that I want people to understand is that I went to school for mass comm, <laughs> mass communications. <laughs> I knew from a little girl what I wanted to be. I identified with Oprah Winfrey as a little girl. In my senior year in high school, I sat in front of a camera and it felt like home. So when I went to Georgia Southern University in Statesboro, I knew what I wanted to be. This is like a dream and a goal. It's not always something you can apply for, you know? And so got cancer uh, after graduating from college because I get, gotta give y'all the, you know, the rundown. But uh, 20 years I spent in the classroom as an educator and I feel like people have that label still on me and I'm like y'all I'm a creative first but those 20 plus years have significance in my spiritual growth and development so God could prepare me for now in 2021 he spoke to me Stephanie be your authentic self and my authentic self and I'll have to do another video because I got like about four to five seconds left you know what I'm saying but what I'm really saying is now since I've given God my yes but mostly important now that I am spiritually ready and mature to go into the mission field of the industry that I've wanted to be in arts and entertainment since I was a little girl, it's happening for me. So in me having time with daddy, I'm really sensing it's real to say, keep going. You gotta walk by faith and not by sight and keep going. Yours may not be arts and entertainment, it may be politics, it may be education, it may be something else, but you gotta keep going. That momentum, that motion, like Ply says, I don't mean it like that. You got to keep walking by faith and not by sight. I've said that before, but you get it. I love y'all. God loves you. Best. Love you. Love you.